Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today is an update video. We're going to be providing an update on changes being made to the 458 and also an update with regards to events that are taking place later in the year and we'll be bringing you along with us for those events by creating coverage with the 458. Now the changes we're going to be making to the 458 are pertinent to the trip that I alluded to earlier, which is a Swiss touring driving trip that we're going to be taking part in later on in the year, which of course, as I detailed, we're going to be bringing you along for that trip. They really revolve around the wheels. Now, before I talk about these particular changes, I just want to talk about just a, a slight change to the interior of the car that a very good friend of ours has provided for us. A very good friend, Martin, thank you very much. You know who you are. He's given us these, these mats to replace our existing mats, um, which means that we can keep our existing mats in perfect condition. And these are more durable, more hard wearing. And of course they've got the nice little Ferrari red tinges and, and, and embroidery around the side, which make it you know, look pretty cool a, a little bit. It brightens up the interior of the car a little bit and provides a nice few little accents there. So thanks very much, Martin, very much appreciated. Martin's a very good friend of the channel, very good friend of mine. So let's get on to the wheel changes. Two stages or two parts. We're going to change the colour of the wheels and we're also going to change the tyres. Now with regards to the colour of the wheels, um, people may remember or our initial viewers may remember that we purchased the car with black wheels and it also had black PPF on the side skirts. Now obviously the black wheels tied in with the black PPF because the previous owner liked those parts to be in black. We wanted to change the wheels to silver when we had the car fully PPF'd and detailed. Uh, we had the black PPF removed from the seals and we had the wheels colour changed to Argento Nürburgring Silver. Now, it was, it was a good colour and it was a great colour. It's lasted us very well for our filming and for using the car, progressing going forwards. But now's the time to change. We're going to change the wheel colour back to the original spec colour, which is just called Bright Silver. Yeah, that, I mean, trying to get a spec code from Ferrari is nigh impossible. You just can't get the spec codes. I don't think even the dealerships can get the original ID for the code, for the colour codes that are used for the wheels, which is bloody crazy, but it is what it is. So the wheel colour is going to be changed back to original spec bright silver. And with regards to the tyres, these are the original P0 tyres. Now, with regards to providing more detail about these tyres and about the tyre markings, etc., I'm going to provide a, a link to the video in the description below and that I've already um, provided, which in effect talks about the, the, the decoding of the tyre markers on the tyres. And also I provide details there with regards to um, the different types of tyres that you can put on your car and with regards to the Michelin, Pilots, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S that I've bought for this car. Needless to say, I'm putting two 4.5s on the front when it's standard is 2.3.5, but I've been recommended it's a good idea to put two 4.5s on there for better grip and it fills out the artist slightly more. But the key reason is because these tyres are eight years old now. These are the original Pirelli P0 tyres that this car was purchased with. So they're 2015 tyres, they're eight years old, they need to be replaced. And definitely they need to be replaced before we do any spirited driving, let's say, in a Swiss driving tour. So that is a key vital requirement. So while the colour is being changed on the wheels because they have to remove the tyres because they have to use certain processes to etch the paint off the wheels. Obviously they can't leave the tyres on there when they do that. So the tyres are going to have to come off. So that's a great time for me to provide the dealership with new tyres for the car because it's a no cost option then for me to have them to fit those tyres on as part of the process. 
obviously I'm providing the tyres. Again, if you check out my video, which I'll put in the description below with regards to decoding the tyre markings, you'll, you'll see that I've already purchased my Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, 245s on the front, 295s on the back. Now, the key reason for changing these tyres, as I've detailed, is because they're eight years old. You should really change tyres around at maximum six years old marker. So this is well beyond their time frame. So they really do need to be changed, especially with spirited driving coming forwards in the Swiss Alps. But actually these tyres are well within legal requirements with regards to tread depth. So that's not the reason we're changing them. As I say, it's, it's due to age. But just as a bit of additional information for you there, um, I did detail this again in my tyre markings decoded video. And just make sure guys, you're checking the legality of your tyres properly. You should be checking for 75% of the width of the tire, it should be 1.6 millimeters as a minimum tread depth. You've got tire markers, you've got tread markers along there you can feel with your fingers anyway. But just so you know, if you're using a proper tire tread gauge, it's 1.6 millimeters across 75% of the width of the tire across the whole circumference of the tire. So that's an important thing that you guys check. And also make sure, please, that you're checking your tyre pressure. It's vitally important, especially with our transition in the UK between the different climates. When you're getting hotter environments, it expands the air in the tyres, so that increases tyre pressures. And when you get cooler environments, obviously the tyre pressures reduce because the air contracts. So, um, especially in the UK, we have all these different climates all the time. Um, you know, it's warmish at the moment. Um, so if you're bringing your car out of the garages now and, and out of storage, then you must make sure that you're checking your tire pressures. Don't automatically assume that TPMS is accurate. TPMS is good once you've set up the tire pressures on your car. It's good to, to do a day by day check with using TPMS, which is the tire pressure monitoring system. Um, which is incorporated into these supercars. So it's good to use TPMS going forwards, but for example, major times at certain times and certain stages, for example, when you're bringing your car out of storage after a long period of storage, winter storage is a good example, then it's definitely a good practice to make sure that you manually check the tire pressures. And while you're at it, you might as well check your tire legality to make sure you've got enough tread on the tires as well. Hell, you're down there anyway, checking the tires, why not? Very important, remember, the tyres are the thing that provide the interface between your supercar and the asphalt. Vitally important. Before we close out the video today, I also want to give you a little bit of information about the Swiss trip that we're going to be taking part in later on in the year. Now, this is going to be an awesome trip. We're going to be taking part and we're going to be driving many of the major passes in Switzerland. To give you an idea of the cars that are going to be coming along in our group, we've got a TDF, Pista, 355, GT3 and an Aventador. Those are just some of the cars that are in our group. So it's going to be some awesome content, guys. So make sure you get subscribed and switch on notifications so you get notified when those videos drop going to be a really cool trip and like I say we're going to be bringing you along for the whole duration. If you enjoyed the video please also make sure you give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video.